Revolutionary War hero Ethan Allen's honored name is bestowed on the Navy's newest and most powerful addition to the Polaris fleet of nuclear submarines in launching ceremonies at Groton. The Ethan Allen is the first sub built to fire the new longer range version of the Polaris missile. She's christened by Mrs. Robert H. Hopkins of Brookline, Massachusetts, a descendant of Ethan Allen. <laughs> The 900-ton craft goes down the way smoothly. It's launching marred only by a quickly squelched pacifist demonstration. A key addition to the Navy's fast-growing nuclear fleet. These scenes, filmed in 1962, are of the prelude to an historic weapon system test. Operation Dominic. The ballistic missile firing submarine USS Ethan Allen launched into the Pacific nuclear test range a fully armed Polaris A-1 missile. That shot, fired in 1962 from USS Ethan Allen, quite literally was heard round the world for it fully demonstrated beyond any rational question the credibility of what President Kennedy called our crucial deterrent, the Fleet Ballistic Missile Weapon System. I've directed prompt action to step up our Polaris submarine program. We'll build and place on station, at least nine months earlier than planned, substantially more units of a crucial deterrent, a fleet that will never attack first but possess sufficient powers of retaliation concealed beneath the sea to discourage any aggressor from launching an attack upon our security. <laughs> 